Okay, hypothesis test. Uh, today uh, we will cover uh, one sample hypothesis test. Anyway, hypothesis test. Uh, for research, uh, we uh, have something like a question, like a topic. So uh, hypothesis test is like the research question is transformed into a statistical hypothesis. So if we have question, then uh, we can uh, uh, test that question, if it is right or not like that, using uh, statistics. That is a hypothesis test. So using uh, probability theory, uh, we use a normal distribution, we use T distribution. And then a significance based on a directional or non-directional. Uh, when I teach research methodology, uh, I covered in the, that in detail briefly because in the time. And then also that was not a, not a statistics class. So uh, just uh, show if you uh, student need that uh, this hypothesis test, then uh, just let uh, them know. And then uh, later if they need, then uh, I can teach more like that. So uh, if you took uh, my research uh, methodology, then uh, uh, maybe you uh, uh, remind uh, one tail test and then two tail test. So one tail test is uh, directional and two tail test is uh, non-directional. And test if effect, uh, the level of significance alpha, uh, you may know uh, about the alpha significance level. Uh, we, uh, I will uh, tell about this one uh, later with the example more. The hypothesis, uh, there are two types, uh, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis uh, is uh, about the uh, population and then uh, symbol is H0, and then uh, always include the equal sign. Alternative hypothesis is an opposite side of the null hypothesis, and then uh, identified by H1, and then uh, never uh, contain equal sign. So hypothesis, null hypothesis in H0, and then it's about uh, population. So uh, this notation is mean, population mean. So if it is two tail non-directional test, then uh, there are two uh, rejection area. So uh, non-directional uh, two tail test looks like this only equal sign in null hypothesis, and then opposite of this equal sign is not equal. And then uh, directional hypothesis, there is direction like this. So one tail test, H0, including equal sign less than or equal to, and then greater than. H1 alternative hypothesis, uh, never contain equal sign. And then uh, this one the same. And then I said uh, this one uh, looks like an arrow direction. So this one pointing right side, so looks like this, so right tail test. And then uh, pointing left side, uh, alternative hypothesis. So looks like this, left tail or uh, lower tail, right tail or upper tail. Okay, 
then hypothesis test steps. Um, this one is based on my um, experience and uh, uh, based on uh, the kind of logic I made these steps. So first, uh, determine uh, state null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis based on uh, the question, the research question. And then uh, determine if it is Z or T test. Uh, if uh, population standard deviation is known, then uh, we use Z unknown T. After that, we determine if it is two tail or one tail based on uh, the question. If there is direction on tail, if there is no direction, then uh, two tail. And then uh, if it is one tail, determine if it is uh, right or left. And then uh, we need to test the statistic and critical value. I say uh, calculate uh, test the statistics. If we use a formula, then uh, we use uh, formula and then uh, uh, calculate. And then critical value from uh, if it is the test, uh, from normal distribution table chart. If it is t-test, then uh, from a uh, t-distribution. After we get a uh, test statistic and a uh, critical value, then decide if we reject null hypothesis or do not reject based on uh, uh, comparing uh, test statistic and critical value. And then now uh, we can use a p-value to determine, decide if uh, we reject or not reject. And then based on the result, then we can conclude. I made this chart. I said uh, statistics is logic, determination. So from uh, uh, this one, if it is one uh, sample test, First, we uh, determine if it is Z or T test based on standard uh, population standard deviation, sigma. If it is known, then uh, Z test. If it is unknown, T test. After we determine if it is Z or T, then non-directional or directional. If it is non-directional, then the two tail looks like this. If it is not directional, then determine if it is left tail or right tail. Looks like this. The same t-test, same uh, process. If it is two tail, one tail. If it is uh, one tail, then uh, left tail and right tail. Okay, test the statistic and uh, critical value, test the statistic calculation, and then the critical value uh, from a chart. The boundary, if it is two tail, then uh, there are two boundaries, left and right, two sides. That is uh, here and here boundary, they are critical value for a, a two tail test. And then one tail test, the left tail, left side, critical value here, boundary, and right tail, right side, critical value here. And then based on where test, test, test statistic is. So if test statistic is inside somewhere here, then uh, the test result is do not reject no hypothesis. If uh, the test statistic is in rejection area, then reject the null hypothesis. The same inside, do not reject. In rejection area, reject the same. If it is a Z test, population standard deviation known, then test the statistic 
from this formula, test statistics Z equals sample mean minus population mean divided by population standard deviation divided by the number of uh, sample size and square roots. If it is t-test, uh, t-test, uh, then test the statistic t equals the same sample mean minus population mean divided by sample standard deviation divided by sample size square root. Um, when I taught uh, undergraduate statistics, then uh, let students use uh, those formula to uh, calculate uh, test the statistic. But uh, many cases in uh, real world, uh, we use an uh, application. We may use an Excel, we may use an uh, SPSS, we may use an, uh, some other. But uh, for this class, now we will use R. So we, uh, we don't need this uh, formula to find, calculate, uh, test the statistic. But uh, just to show you. And then if we uh, use p-value, then uh, based on the p-value, p-value is probably observing a sample value as extreme as or more extreme than the value observed uh, given that null hypothesis is true. Actually, I don't understand <laughs> when I read this, but uh, based on this, if p-value, the p-value is greater than or equal to alpha here, p-value greater than or alpha equal to alpha, then do not reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is less than alpha, significance level, reject the null hypothesis. p-value less than alpha, then we reject the null hypothesis. Okay, now uh, using R, then we assume if it is, the, we know a population standard deviation, then uh, we use a Z test for the hypothesis test. Okay, let's open R and R Studio. Um, Last minute, I sent to you uh, the link uh, because uh, I updated some uh, part of uh, today's lecture, the PowerPoint. And uh, we use the same data as last, uh, last uh, class. So first we need uh, read import the data. The data set, uh, type of data set is uh, uh, text data, the same. So uh, um, before we do this, uh, we need, uh, if you uh, still have the same uh, project, uh, you can use the same uh, file or uh, you can, uh, make an, uh, another new uh, project. Okay, I will share. Okay, here, uh, I will uh, make uh, today's uh, project again, so. 
we did this one again and again, so I think you know how to do it. So open uh, wherever uh, the data is, and then create project. What the? I don't, why I, let's see. Why is not in there? This one should be album sale one. Speed again. Why? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you uh, are ready, then first the import data, whatever we need. So I will make the file name album sales. Then uh, read in, uh, read uh, delimited uh, text data. The text data name is uh, album sales one. And then header equals true because we need a header like a, a variable name. So type that so import data data name is album I will make album sales and put uh, by read delimit the data name is album one dot and then header equals true. And let's see uh, if the data imported right. The same data uh, last week we used. So uh, there are two uh, variables, advertisement and uh, sales. Sample size is 200. And um, let's see uh, if there is, no, what is the mean of the data? Uh, we will use the sales, sales uh, variable. So uh, uh, mean of, album sales dollar sign and sales so sales data sample mean is 193.2 maybe uh, we uh, let's see standard deviation of the same data set St standard deviation is sd then uh, album, album sales and sales. Standard deviation is 80, sample standard deviation.
And uh, for a hypothesis test, we need a package. So uh, install this package. Install packages ESDA. I think this one is an abbreviation of the business statistics data analytic. Business statistics uh, data analytic, I think. So uh, install this package and then uh, execute uh, this package uh, using library. So let's do it. So install packages, quotation or double quotation, uh, business statistics, uh, data analytics. And it takes uh, time. My computer is new, so fast but your computer is uh, slow, so it will take uh, some time, but I can wait. And I will uh, do library, execute, business statistics, data analytics. Okay, when you ready and say when, Elisa, you use Apple? Yeah, I have a Mac. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it okay, uh, working good? Um, I think I'm gonna honestly try to get an HP some or something soon, uh -huh. honestly. You know, for uh, school work, uh, Usually, uh, like application uh, packages, whatever, uh, almost based on uh, the PC, not an Apple. So uh, some student uh, has a problem or difficulty uh, using a business application and tool too. Always, that is now my question. How can I make an, uh, uh, available possible uh, for a student who has an uh, Apple? If I have an uh, um, Apple, then I can try, but I don't have but I don't want to uh, invest the money. <laughs> if uh, there are uh, many students uh, using Apple, then I should uh, uh, prepare for the, uh, those students. But uh, um, when I teach uh, class, then uh, most, most time uh, one or two students use Apple. Okay, uh, you ready? No, not yet. Okay, good. How about Kenny? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, um, so after that, uh, for Z test, if we know population standard deviation uh, from uh, the uh, kind of chart, population standard deviation known, then uh, Z-test. After that, we determine if it is uh, two tail or one tail. So uh, I can say popul population standard deviation assume uh, if it is uh, 85, 
Then uh, mu, this is mu, population mean, and then alpha equals 0 0.05. So uh, uh, if we determine if it is a Z test, then uh, using this function, and then the first argument, what is data? So X equals, X means the sample equals the variable uh, sales data sample in this data set. And then alternative, if we determine if it is two, two tail test, looks like this. Then alternative, alternative equals two-sided. So uh, like the, the step here, determine if it is Z or T, and then if it is two tail or one tail like that. So in this function and uh, argument, what is data set? And then if it is the Z test or T test, and then uh, if it is the two tail or one tail, if it is two tail, then two sided. And then we need population mean in the uh, Null and uh, alternative hypothesis mu equals 200. So population mean, and then sigma, that is population standard deviation, sigma given. And then confidence in the level, you know, alpha and uh, confidence level. If alpha is 0 0.05, if alpha is 0 0.05, then outside rejection area, this one plus this side is 0 0.05. That is alpha significance level. Inside, we call this confidence level. So alpha uh, confidence level is one minus alpha. So R using confidence level instead of alpha. So if alpha is 0 0.05, then confidence level is 95. So type in confidence level 0.95. And then if it is in a, one tail test, then the alternative can be greater or less. So uh, uh, we uh, assume this is a two tail test. The question is like that, uh, if uh, test, if the sales is equal to 200, If it is equal to 200, then uh, it is a two tail test. So let's type in this function and argument in R Studio. Okay, Z test, Z dot test. You know, and, uh, every time if we have uh, the package and then uh, execute right, then uh, when we type uh, the function, then uh, it gives you like this. If uh, the package is not installed or not uh, execute, then uh, type, then uh, nothing. So that means uh, we have right uh, the right uh, package and uh, execute. 
And then uh, data x equals, we will use say, uh, sales, data, uh, sales uh, variable in uh, album data set. And then sales. Then uh, if it is uh, two tail or one tail, so alternative quotation or uh, double quotation to dot side D. And then uh, we need population mean that is mu equals 200. And then we need the population standard deviation sigma dot x 85 given. And then we need the confidence level Confidence level, confidence, confidence level is 0.95. Say again, alpha is 0.05, then uh, confidence level is uh, 0.95, then enter, then uh, we have output. So one sample Z test, because we use the uh, Z test. And then uh, test statistic Z equals negative 1.1314. And then P value 0.2579. And then alternative hypothesis true mean is not equal to 200 because it's two tail test. So alternative is no, only not equal sign. And then 95% uh, confidence interval, that means alpha is 0.05. And then uh, mean of x now 193.2. Okay, I will go to PowerPoint slide. Okay, from this output, how can we uh, determine, decide uh, the, st uh, the test result? Here, p value and uh, test statistic, there is no uh, uh, critical value. So uh, uh, this uh, output itself, we cannot use a critical value. We may use a p-value to uh, decide. So based on this, it is two tail test. So null hypothesis only equal sign if it is uh, 200. The sales, the population uh, mean is you know, 200 and then uh, not equal 200. And then we can uh, uh, decide the test result you know, based on p-value. P-value given uh, p-value is 0.2579. Alpha is now 0 0.05. So p-value is greater than alpha. So test result is do not reject the null hypothesis. If we want to get critical value, critical value, then we can type in those functions, then uh, we can get test the uh, critical value. So first we give R, what is alpha? So alpha equals 0.05. 
than Q normal because uh, Z test, uh, we want to uh, Z test statistic normal distribution. So Q normal one minus alpha divided by two because alpha is 0.05 and then uh, two tail. So each area is divided by two, half of that alpha. So one minus alpha divided by two, and then Q norm and alpha. This one is uh, if it is one tail. If it is two tail, then divide by two. Okay, let's type those functions. So uh, alpha equals 0.05. You can use, uh, you type in a 0 0.05 or 0 0.05, it doesn't matter. And then Q or norm, one minus alpha divided by two. Then it is 1.959, so approximately 1.96. Because it is two tail, you know what? Uh, uh, just in the, try this Q normal. Just an, without one. Without one, just an uh, alpha divided by two. Then it gives you negative. So it doesn't matter. But anyway, because it is the two tail, so boundary critical value left and right. So negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. From the uh, output, Z test statistic is negative 1.13. Negative 1.13 is inside. So using critical value and test statistic, we can determine, decide the test result as do not reject the null hypothesis. So from this narrow test results, we can conclude the test result. Because we ask, if sample uh, sales mean, uh, sample mean sales is 200 or not, right? Then do not reject the null hypothesis means we accept null hypothesis. That means there is no difference. So we can conclude that uh, sample sales mean is 200, about the 200. So uh, for our research, um, what can be example of uh, this uh, test? You know, uh, if you are sales manager, and then uh, offer uh, uh, like a CEO or whoever asking you, uh, what is this year's sales? And then uh, ask like an, uh, 200 million. Then uh, we can say, uh, if it is, you know, uh, now the average is 193. But uh, we cannot say or without statistics, we cannot say, oh, it is not 200. But we can say like uh, statistically, it is 200. So based on uh, 
So significant. So uh, we can say uh, uh, by uh, statistical uh, uh, hypothesis test, we can say uh, uh, the sales is 200. And then uh, 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 statistically significant. So uh, like a proof statistically, that is a hypothesis test. Okay, uh, now 752, uh, uh, let's take uh, eight minute break, then I will be back uh, uh, at eight. Okay, I'm back. Are you there? Okay. Um, next one, assume one tail. So hypothesis looks like this. Uh, maybe question is uh, if the sales is less than 210, if it is uh, uh, less than 210, then alternative hypothesis looks like this, less than 10 to 10 and then uh, greater than or equal to 210. So only difference is this alternative. And then uh, mm, given um, population mean is 210, and then uh, let's change in uh, alpha, significance in level is 0 0.01. So if alpha equals 0 0.01, then uh, confidence level is 0.99. So type uh, this uh, function and uh, argument. So uh, we will use Z test. Then data will be sales in album sales data. And alternative is less because it is now left tail, left one tail, left tail, lower tail less and then uh, mu equals 210 sigma x equals 85 and confidence level is 0.99 and enter. Then uh, let's see, um, just in the, do this uh, to get a uh, critical value. Q uh, alpha is point, we need an alpha equals 0.01, then uh, Q norm normal distribution and because this one is one tail so use just uh, alpha not uh, divide by two because it is one tail 
So, so negative, negative uh, 2.326. Okay, then uh, let's go to test result like this. So test statistic is negative 2.979. You know, it's not always, but uh, probability or uh, most of the time, if it is left tail, one tail test, then usually boundary critical value is left side. And then maybe test statistic also negative. If it is not positive, then uh, you should, uh, you know, uh, uh, think about it. it. It is wrong. But it is the left tail, then the test statistic is negative. So that is okay. And then p-value is 0 0.0025. And then here, alternative hypothesis is true mean is less than 210. Alternative is less than 200. That is right. Then we got uh, the critical value using alpha equals 0 0.01, and then uh, G norm, and then alpha, we can get this one, uh, this one, critical value. So uh, this test statistic is not in rejection area. So reject the null hypothesis. And then uh, based on p-value, the p-value is 0 0.002, that is less than 0 0.01 alpha. So we check the null hypothesis. So from this uh, test result, we can conclude the sample sales mean is not, is not, uh, less it is now less than 210 because we reject the null hypothesis so uh, alternative hypothesis can be true so this is true that means sample uh, sales mean is less than 210 So say again, like a uh, real uh, situation. Your manager ask you, uh, uh, the sales is uh, less than uh, 200 this year. Then, oh uh, yes. Then test like this. And then uh, statistically, it is less than 210. Okay, uh, any question? Let me ask you, uh, um, you understand now uh, uh, so far uh, what we uh, covered so logically? Okay. And then next one is, right tail test if it is no right tail like that uh, the question is no if uh, sales uh, this year is greater than 190 million okay let's test so we will use this uh, argument Alternative is greater than, alternative is greater than, 
Oops, not that. I made the wrong. Uh, no, this this one. Sales, sample sales is greater than 190. So white tail. So greater, greater alternative. And then uh, uh, population mean is 190. And then given alpha is 0.1, 10%. And then uh, this one, uh, the confidence level should be one point uh, nine. Okay, let's do it. So Z test. Alternative greater and then uh, mu equals one ninety and sigma X equals 85 and confidence level 0.9. Okay, test results. You know what? Uh, when I teach uh, my class in the uh, statistics, uh, regular uh, statistics or uh, uh, the research methodology, then uh, I use a pH stat that is based on uh, Excel. Um, if we don't use that uh, pH stat, then uh, sometimes uh, using uh, the regular uh, uh, Excel and then basic the uh, uh, analysis tool, then uh, not powerful. Maybe uh, this R is um, better than uh, Excel, regular Excel. But if we can use a uh, pH stat, then uh, that is better, I think. But this one, uh, Compared to just the regular Excel function, then uh, we cannot say uh, which one is better, but uh, similar. So uh, this one, uh, if you know uh, this R, uh, using R uh, for the hypothesis test, then uh, if you need the hypothesis test in, the, in real world, then uh, um, maybe it is uh, useful. Okay, then uh, we need critical value. So uh, Q, no, uh, we need alpha two first. Alpha equals 0.1 and then uh, Q, because it is, uh, you know, uh, Uh, right tail, so I will use one minus alpha. Then it gives you positive uh, critical value. Earlier uh, we uh, just uh, without uh, did without uh, one minus and. Uh, this one gives you a negative. So if it is now left tail, then without one minus. If it is right tail, then one minus alpha. So uh, the critical value is 1.281552. We'll go back to 
uh, slide then uh, put them in okay hypothesis looks like this the question is now uh, if uh, sales is uh, greater than 190 test then uh, Test the statistic is 0 0.532. And then uh, using a function, we, we got uh, critical value boundary. Test the statistic is inside. So test the result is do not reject uh, null hypothesis. And then if we use the p value, if we don't know what uh, a critical value, then I just use a p value. p value is 0.2972, that is greater than 0.1. So do not reject the null hypothesis. So to answer the question, if uh, sales is greater than 190, then actually, you know, uh, the average sales is now sample uh, average is now 193. So it looks like it is now greater than 190, but statistically we cannot say it is now greater than 90, 190. Because we uh, test and then uh, test the result is now do not reject the null hypothesis. So this one is accepted. So maybe it is not greater than 190 statistically. Okay. And then uh, hopefully, you know, uh, mm, uh, taking this class then uh, you uh, like uh, uh, understand uh, about the uh, hypothesis and uh, tests uh, the process and uh, all logic, hopefully. And next one is the uh, t-test. We will use the same data. And then uh, we assume we don't know population standard deviation. You know, uh, in uh, real world, usually we don't know a population standard deviation. So many cases in uh, re real world, uh, many cases we use uh, t-test. So most of the time we use t-test because in real world, we don't know population standard deviation. So using, uh, Sample standard deviation, if we use the uh, formula. But uh, for this R, only difference is in, uh, the function. Earlier we used the Z test. Uh, now we use T test. Because we don't know population standard deviation, here, earlier when uh, we used the Z test, then uh, sigma x, but we don't need the sigma. So uh, the same uh, data, and then uh, we assume it is two sided, uh, two tail test, the same alternate uh, uh, hypothesis. So question is, if it is uh, the sales is 200, a two tail test. So the same data set, and then alternative if it is not two tail or one tail, if it is one tail, uh, right tail or left tail, and then uh, population mean and uh, critical value, I know, I mean, uh, significance level. 0.05, then the confidence level is 0.95. So type in
t test x equals repeat again and again So uh, um, output, and then uh, we need, if we need critical value, we can uh, decide in the test result using a p-value, but if we uh, need uh, critical value, then uh, we can uh, use the, the function, this one, qt, when we use the normal distribution G test, the two normal, but this one for T test, we use Q T, T distribution. Then P means alpha. Significance variable. And then this one is two tail. So each side is 0.05 divided by two. And then DF, degree of freedom, when we use the T distribution, DF equals N minus one. N is 200, sample size. Earlier we uh, look at the data set, then the data size uh, is 200. So DF for this test is 199. 200 minus one. And then this one is two tail test. So we, uh, we need this lower tail, no, false. So type in this function and argument, then we can get Critical value for t test qt p equals that is alpha point o five just point o five or point, uh, zero point o five the same and div divided by two because it is it is two tail and then degree of freedom equals 199 and lower tail because it's two tail horse. So plus minus 1.97, plus minus 1.97. Go back to Right. So boundary critical value negative and positive 1.97, and test statistic is negative 1.97 uh, inside. So do not reject the null hypothesis. Based on p-value, p-value is 0.2348. That is greater than alpha. So do not reject the null hypothesis. So we can say, we can say uh, the sales is 200. Do not reject the null hypothesis. So this is true. So sales is statistically 200. And next one, the same data and then 
one tail and then left tail. The question is if the sales is less than 210. Test about that using t-test because we don't know population standard deviation. So mu population mean is 210. If alpha is 0.01, then confidence level is 0.99 and mu is 210 using t-test. So T test data X equals album sales, oops, at sales alternative. Test the result output. And then if we need critical value, then uh, QT, because we use the T distribution and P equals Point oh one or uh, zero point oh one, because it is one tail. We don't need uh, divide by two. And then df equals one ninety nine. And then lower tail. Yes, so true. is the lower tail, left tail. So it is true. And then negative 2.34. If it is now right tail, then now we may QT P equals the same. And then uh, DF equals 199. And then lower tail, then false. Dr. I have a question. Yes. Shouldn't the degree of freedom be n minus one? That is sample size minus one. N minus one. So sample uh, size is two ten. So shouldn't it be two or nine? Um, because you know a t distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, I will draw. Normal distribution and T distribution is similar. If it is in a normal distribution Z, then T distribution, the same uh, shape, but looks like this. So T distribution is wider than normal distribution. So to offset this kind of error using N minus one, we call that degree of freedom. So T distribution using a T, uh, n minus one t distribution and the normal distribution just to use n okay right now we are using the t distribution right 
Yeah, we use uh, T distribution now because we don't know population uh, standard deviation. So we should use degree of freedom as n minus one. Yes. So, so in uh, this question, the n is two hundred and ten. No, n is two hundred now. I will show you. Okay, just one more. Uh, complete this one. Uh, if it is right tail, then uh, it is not a uh, low tail. So first, then uh, right tail uh, critical value is positive. Okay, uh, our data. Our data is album sales, right? When I uh, start uh, today, uh, I showed you and then sample size is 200. So N is sample size. So it is 200. You may uh, confuse now because uh, you know earlier This, right? This is not a sample size, it is, uh, you know, uh, population mean. Okay? I got it. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good question. So uh, now make sure, like that, okay? If you uh, don't understand, then uh, ask me, then uh, let me uh, explain and then make sure. Okay, so we got critical value negative because it is in the left tail. And then uh, based on the, the uh, output, T test statistic is in negative 2.9441 in rejection area. So test result is rejected. Don't know I thought it is. Or based on p value, p value is 0 0.001, that is less than 0 0.01. So we just don't know hypothesis. So based on this now test result, we can say. Reject the null hypothesis. So this is not true and alternative hypothesis is true. So we can say the sales is less than 210. Okay, then uh, next one. If we assume and uh, question, question, we have a question, if, the sales is greater than 190. Then a test. When we don't know population standard deviation, then use t-test and then greater because alternative hypothesis is greater than. The mu is 190. Alpha is 0.1, 10%, then confidence level is 90%, 0 0.9. So type in. T test. Data. Sales, alternative, greater, new equals 190, confidence level 0.9, done. 
And then uh, if we need critical value, because it's a right tail, so QT, T equals 0.1, DF equals 199, lower, because it's the right tail, it is not low tail force. So critical value is 1.2858. 1 1.2858. 1 go to slide. So critical value is 1.285. And based on this output, test statistic is 0 0.56, 0 0.5609 inside. Do not reject the null hypothesis. Based on p-value 0.2878, 0.2878. Greater than 0.1. So do not reject the null hypothesis. So based on this the test result, we can say sales is not greater than 190. Because no, we do not reject the null hypothesis, then it means accept null hypothesis. So we can say sales is not greater than 190. Okay. Well, that's all I uh, prepared for uh, tonight. Stop recording.